Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of, well, hopefully this is a tutorial, and maybe, maybe there's something interesting that we can actually get from this. So I'm going to start off by doing something a little bit different. I'm going to go try and revenge someone who I know I will fail, probably this guy, no, not him, I'll definitely fail on him, um, someone who I will potentially fail on. Okay, and the reason for that is, let me explain. So this guy wins seven out of 10 times. I can see, as you see, I do get lucky sometimes and I can revenge him. The point of this is, when I upgrade some skills today and I add more points to it, you're gonna see a before and after. We're gonna do four and four. We're gonna see what kind of success it gets. So this is before, right? Everything looks normal. It's a 49 insect. Okay, remember, Seven out of 10, I get lucky sometimes. So we're gonna see how this continues. Um, let's just pick this one. Okay, there's two. Try again. I think we can do this eight tries. How many tries do we get? I don't know, I think it's, all right, so there's, see, the first one was lucky. And we have troop rest chances, three more. All right, we're gonna stop there, so I guess it's six. So we're gonna do three and three. So I got lucky one time and I failed two times. Now, now my friends, we're gonna go and we're gonna make a level 50 insect. We're gonna upgrade the skill tree. Actually, we're gonna make a 51. We're gonna upgrade the skill tree and then I'm gonna go hit him again and we're gonna see if anything changed, right? Like if it's one and three or two and three or zero and three. Yep, because this final skill tree, this thing at the bottom down here, this, I'm not convinced it does anything. And if it does something, that 10% chance to do whatever it does is so low that again, I'm just not terribly convinced. So without further ado, let's go make some expensive upgrades, all right? So we got all this, a dump. All right, there we go, 51, all right? So you guys get to see the requirements for, you know, 50, 51, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, let's push the button, okay? All right, so 52 is out of our reach. Like I said, next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that, next week. So that'll be 52 and 53 next week. But we do have some talents that we can spend today. So we can go dup, 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 dup. No? All right, there we go. So we're on five out of 10. That means we're doing 50% more damage to the target, 10%, you know, 10% chance to do 50%. Okay, what is the actual impact of that? Can you see it? Is it magically delicious, right? That's what we're about to find out here because I can't actually see any single difference. All right, so now we're 51, we're using more ants, all this good stuff, right? Okay, there's one. Remember, we get lucky sometimes. Keep wanting to hit a robot there, but that would be a bad use of um, <clears throat> tries. Again, get lucky one time, and then uh, let's see here if we can. Hmm, hmm, more data needs to come. But we can also look at these battle reports, right? So, oh, snap. Uh, is a battle report in the other area? Hold on. Over here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we can look at these battle reports to kind of see what was going on and maybe Batman determine, all right, what was, what was the cause of this win? Because if we see our skill count going nuts, six, nine, and 15, okay, that's probably why we won. And we can look at the, um, the amount of troop kills too, because if the amount of troop kills went up substantially, then we know that's also a contributing factor. So we do it by the numbers, right? We don't just like yak, yak, yak without looking at some numbers. So we, you know, we see like 15 skills, nine skills, um, six, and it's like 23, 36, 46 troop kills. Okay, cool. Now let's look at the one where we failed. All right, so two, nine, and 14. So we failed and that's a pretty high skill count to be failing at. And how much did we fail by? Okay, that's a pretty good margin. Um, and we see the troop kills is 15, 37, 
and 36. So there was a pretty high variance in terms of the troop kills, which is kind of interesting because um, let's go back to, uh, I should do like before. So this time when we succeeded before, it was 5, 10, and 18. But the troop kills on this was 44 and before it was 46. So more skills used, less troop kills. This is more troop kills, but one more skill, so we can't be certain there. This is ballpark the same. And then this one, I think this one we just didn't, didn't have enough skills um, trigger. So it's, it's ballpark, right? Like 15, and this is 44, 8, 77. And then this one was 15, 44, 8, 77. So with that 10% chance to do 50% more damage, it looks like if we're just pulling, you know, random, like whatever numbers, we went from 44, 87 to 46, 700. So maybe, maybe that upgrade gave us 2K more kills, right? For the back row, maybe. I don't know if it would have applied to all of them, like 2K, 2K, and 2K, maybe. If that's the case, when it gets to, um, you know, the 100%, when we finally max out the skill, if we can actually measure that difference, we can say that in this battle, that skill contributed to, you know, 6K more kills against a target that you were unable to, to hurt before, right? Because remember, this guy's strong. He was winning at least 70% of the time before. I can't continue to hit him. I've got no more um, no more hits, right? Let's make sure. Two more chances. All right, so it looks like I can do two more. Hold on. Um, battle reports, revelist. Let's just two more, just for kicks and giggles. Nope. Yes. OK. So it may be that we can measure some sort of difference there. All right? I'll eat my words at the beginning, but it was skeptical. Now we have some potential data. I'm going to keep playing with these numbers. I'm going to keep doing the upgrades. We're going to see what happens. And of course, um, I can't control him doing upgrades as well. I mean, like maybe he does upgrades and you know we end up not having really perfect data. Things get skewed. But today, I mean, in the middle of five minutes, he didn't really do some upgrades. So there's this in terms of data. The other thing I'd like to do potentially next week or week after is make a video where I spend, mm, um, let's call it $100, right? I'll show you where, why I'm saying $100. Because when you go to this revert level, um, it costs uh, 30 of these little red mushroom thingies in order to revert, which is like 15 bucks. And if I do this six times, I'll be able to test um, a couple of different things. I'll be able to test the shooter skill tree, the attack skill tree, all right? There's one reset because I'm already on the bottom of the, the shooter. So there's one reset. Then I'm going to come over here to this little ombre, and I'm going to check a couple of different things. Uh, probably have to reset this so that it's clean, and then I'm going to check the versatile and the skill to see which tree performs better, right? And then I'm going to reset it entirely. I'm going to do mixed because I want to see what happens if you don't go after these final skills, but instead try to chase uh, things like health or like more attack, right? Like so cherry picking specifically what in the lower skills might be do. So it's going to be like one, two, three resets, four resets with that. And then I'm going to go back to our old little friend, Potaboo, uh, Mr. Krabby, and see like, okay, does this final skill actually help? Like how much does that healing have an impact? I don't know if I'm gonna do this all in a single episode. I don't know if I'm gonna publish it. it kind of depends on the results. If the results are super interesting, I'll probably just keep it for myself and my friends. But if those results are like, man, I get to bitch about it, I'll post it for all you guys. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, because I really, I'm really curious. You know, like what happens if you pick versatile? Cause I have T10s. Um, humble brag, uh, I have T10s on the shooter side, but what happens if I drop a T9 Pro Ata in the front without stars? You know, and say, okay, so I'll be able to trigger this last one. Does it really help? What's, 
you know, like what's going on here? Because this is a more defensive universal ant. This guy is all about, you know, um, yeah, I'm doing some damage. You know, uh, this guy is definitely about doing damage specifically for shooters. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling today, but I hope you guys get an appreciation for what's coming soon. By soon, I mean like maybe one or two weeks. Probably, I'll probably be two weeks because it's going to be um, next Friday and then the Friday after that. And then by that time, um, we'll be uh, like nine points into uh, this. So we'll be pretty close to maxing out one skill tree. And it's going to be hopefully a good representation of kind of like what can you expect from maxing out a skill tree? Uh, because man, I don't know. We can speculate, right? We can we can talk all this stuff, but at the end of the day, I don't know what that does. What is the critical rate? I'll have 30% of it, but what does it really do? Mm -hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, so yeah, that's what I got for you today. Hopefully you guys like this video. Um, oh yeah, one other thing, real quick. Um, I really wish uh, snap. I really wish that this would actually win now. Because this was another thing. Those final skills get activated, but I tell you, there is sure as hell no difference here. Okay, there's a difference. <clears throat> uh, because before I was only getting down to 2%, and there was no chance in heck that um, I was going to get past that. So now we've officially gotten past that point. Because in terms of points spent, if you're trying to just level this up, <clears throat> I promise you that that final skill is, is not going to be the best thing since sliced cheese. You probably want to, um, you know, max out the universal insect um, instead of, you know, anyway, yeah. So the universal insect is probably going to be, you know, your better chances for upgrading hunting ground. Um, ranking? Hmm, 11th. Okay. At least I'm not like 10 thousands. But um, yeah, so, oh, snap. And we might be able to do this. Maybe? Just a little bit? Uh, there was a damage thing. This. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing like messing up data by doing additional upgrades that conflict. <clears throat> there we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut this short. We've already rambled too long. Um, I've talked about, like today, I've tried to show some impact, maybe measured it out, um, and kind of given some, you know, uh, information about what's coming soon-ish. Um, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to hit subscribe or like. Um, we've got a pretty good island matching. I'll cover that in another episode. Um, and hopefully that this island um, is going to be some serious blasty blasty content. The last island, I recorded a whole bunch, but in the end, I wasn't happy with um, just the setup of Last Island. Let's leave it at that. And um, so I never published a single bit of it. It's all kind of like in the archives. Maybe one day I give it to subscribers as a thank you or something like that. Because there was some really interesting battles there. But unfortunately, I was just pissed. I was just like really, really grumpy. Anyway, I really got to go. All right, love you guys. Bye-bye for now.